Hello everyone and welcome back to Wizard of Legend. Today we are going to be using Bolt Rail, Toxic Trap, Mentis Imperium, and Blazing Lariat. Figured it would be a good idea to give you guys insight as to what I'm actually using this time around. Volt Pinball. Ooh, that sounds fun. I'm gonna keep buying through things over here. Yes, Raspberry Cookie Box. I was about to say, until I find that specific thing, and what do you know, I found it. Okay. Well. <laughs> Let's just see what else I bought. Uh, increases critical hit chance. Always good. Uh, right, gotta put them on to get rid of the thing. Regenerate health every time you land a critical hit. Ooh. Or health orbs drop more frequently. I think that the vampire's eyeglasses are actually better. That's a very interesting thing. Increases knockback when striking foes. That's nice. Um, <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. This was the target. But this is what we're going to roll with. I feel like that's a better choice. And tell me, what did I buy from you just now? Just so we can see what it is. Deferred Dynamo. Ooh, I like it. That said, what we're going to work with is what I had said at the beginning. Mentis Imperium. Because I was just messing around with my spells and I found out it actually does cause damage and then causes them to attack each other. So... You know, when there's a lot of enemies, that's got some good potential. Especially for the mini-bosses on the way to the main bosses, you know? I feel like it's a good call going with something like that. Okay, I need to really get used to what I've got here, though. Because this... This is pretty bad. Okay, we're getting the hang of it now. It took me a second just to get used to what the spells do. But I think I've got it now. More or less, at the very least. Oops. <laughs> As I was saying, Okay, so the health recovery on criticals isn't... I didn't think I was in range there. It's not very much. It's like two health. And that's unfortunate. 
Hey, it's Ice Spear. I do like that. What does the enhanced version do? I have to know. It increases the confusion duration. I'll go. I'll go for it. I'll do it. We'll try it. I do like that we have the Equestra Cap. It does make going through the level a little bit nicer. Hmm. Neither of them are in a very convenient place to go back to the beginning. matter which way I go here, okay. Good to know. I am going to go finish off the rest of the area just in the event that I can find uh, more money. Vampire's eyeglasses are not overly useful. Stanza of Frost. First half of the poem of Fiery Rhyme. Increases ice damage. Well, if only I was using anything with ice. Would you just fight in the poison for me? I need two more gold. That's literally all I need, and I can probably find it by running over some things that I've skipped past. At least I can hope that I can find it. Hmm. There we go, two more gold, perfect. That is exactly what we needed to get. Oops. <laughs> the healing potion. Oh, hey, the cookie box. Nice. Shame we couldn't get both. we go. All right. <coughs> I wish that we had more options with basic spells. Like, we, li we literally have four options. We got the basic air, we've got the fire, we've got a water, and we've got this lightning one. 
I would love to be doing more, but... Yeah, that worked out well, actually. Ooh, hey, health orb, nice. Yeah, I guess I'll go this way. Hmm. Okay. Double toil. Bad. Bad, bad. Broken Plague Flask might be good. Golden Saber of Envy is awesome. We will be coming back for that. Guaranteed. it places one in the front afterwards, doesn't it? Yeah, you throw an extra toxic bomb forward as well, which is potentially very good. I don't know, though. Oh my god, another one. Okay, so I've had this guy commenting on my Dark Souls 1 videos recently, and he is just spamming the hell out of them. So tedious. And yeah, I could ban him, but I feel like he's just the type who will make another account, or has like five other accounts, and will uh, just keep spamming. I just, I get that feeling, so I'm not bothering. It's just like, come on, you've got better things to do, don't you? Probably not. You know, the first time I fought those guys, the jumpers, I was admittedly a bit terrified of them. Okay, so that's gonna be fire damage, that doesn't matter to me. I don't know what that is, I know what that is, and that's pretty decent. I don't know what this is. Hmm. None of those really appeal to me, to be honest with you. I guess we'll attempt to get, uh... a tiny bit more gold. Real quick. combination of things.
Heavy travel jacket. What do you do? Probably frost resistance. Oh, no. No, it is not. Increases armor for each relic held. You know what would be nice to see? Like an actual stats screen that would show like how much armor you've got and whatnot. That would be nice. And then the reason we take the Golden Saber of Envy is because it increases damage, but store prices are increased as well. And the reason why we had to take it after is because we were, well, you know, buying things. Hello, phone. Sorry. Please hold. Nope, not important. <laughs> That's cool. Ooh, carrot cake, right? Yeah, super carrot cake. Taking, taking damage increases your max health. Nice. Very nice. All right. That's not a bad way to clear out that second floor, to be perfectly honest with you. We're in pretty good shape. Got a solid amount of health. We're about to get full health, if I'm not mistaken. Well, never mind. <laughs> I am mistaken. All right, Freya. Ow. Ow. circle. She was so close. She just had to get that one last hit on me. That sucks, because that did a lot of damage. What are you? All lightning! Ooh, spiffy. Hold to charge. Oh. So if we get a chance, we can, you know... I like that. Playing a little bit more tactically. I can see the potential to that. for me. Perfect. Also, blasting, reactive vine mail, and memory chain mail. Huh. Those are expensive. They're probably good. One thing that I wish was with what happened with this game
is that uh, you would get relics more frequently. close to not falling off. Seriously, how many times do I have to right click for the stupid thing to actually activate? It was ready to be used the majority of that time and it just would not actually go. Mildly annoying. Cannon, that's actually not bad. Okay, we're probably gonna try the Anchor of Burden this time, just because I haven't seen it yet. I don't know what it does. Sort out the boss first, though. Better safe than sorry. Okay, not cool game. battery though. What's that do again? Lightning damage. Right. Okay. I already bought the health from you, which is a shame. Alright, Anchor of Burden, what are you? Damage and stuns are increased, but movement speed is reduced for each curse relic owned. But we have the Equestra Cap. So it's mitigated. I like it. Okay. 
buy this. I wish I could buy either of these. I'm so close, but I guess 30 is kind of far off. Hmm. Let's think about this for a second. Or on 2-1. Ugh. It's unfortunate. Because we're probably not going to be able to afford anything next floor if we do it. <coughs> Hello enemies that I didn't know are still around. Okay, we've done 100% of the floor. Just wondering if there's any little thing I can break that'll give me some money. It doesn't seem to be the case. Hmm. could technically go for the drill. And that would put it to my R. No Terran Whirlwind as well. Hmm. This is tough. I'm assuming this is probably just a chance to set things on fire. Or to blow things up randomly. Just like how the frost one is a chance to freeze things. So, not overly useful to me, not as much as a new arcana would be. Alright, what's this whirlwind do for us? Pull nearby enemies into your wake. That's not. Ooh. Pretty neat, though. You gotta admit that. Alright, it's probably going to end up getting us killed, to be perfectly honest, but I learn how to use it. I'm just hoping we can find the uh, potion seller so we can buy his strongest potions. Oh, come on, seriously, I was pressing... No! I hit the space bar to dodge and I didn't dodge. That sucks. But, you know, we're getting more and more consistent with how we're actually able to go through the game, how far we're able to make it. And that counts for something, you know? But either way, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, if you have any suggestions on spell layouts, let me know, and I will see you guys next time.